Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another very festive Monster Hunter episode here in what is normally a much colder feeling <laughs> region. But hello. Gwibbers is looking all Snow Queen and I love that. Jingle is <laughs> dancing beautifully. Do you see Samson's little heart as a paw print? Hang on. All right. You keep doing your, keep doing the dance. This I must see. <laughs> Darn, I love these games so much. It's, it's adorable. All these little details that are just so cute and sweet, and the game is so giant and continually being expanded for some reason. They, yeah. Do they know they can stop? <laughs> like, I don't think no one, anyone told them. Like someone should tell them. Like you guys can stop. Like you had a whole another game come out, guys. You can stop. Yeah, you've got another one coming out next year. You could just, you could just stop. You don't have to. But bless them, they keep on expanding the game, and boy, I I feel like Monster Hunter World might be kind of in like my top ten, just games wise. It, it honestly, same. I love it so much. I, I'm always having a good time when I'm playing it, and there's just so much to constantly do. Yeah, like I like, given I'm such a casual kind of like noob level player at it, like you wouldn't know it, but like I have definitely sunk hundreds of hours into this game over the years and enjoyed every bit of it, even though I've not really gotten that far or developed tons of expertise. I just keep coming back to it like once every year or so, just because it's such a delightful thing to be back in. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah, I guess I don't really like create a uh, mission for just going on an expedition. I guess I can just go out there and you can join me, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember how it works, but I just know I need to go to Elder's Recess, so... Let's go. Come on, Gwibbers. Maybe if I like SOS. Oh, maybe, yeah. I'll see if it'll let me. I feel like last time it didn't let me until like Let's a little bit. Evidence of any major shifts. Yep. Take a step back and it's Not letting you. That lots of little changes nah, nah, gotta, that's, that's fine. Gotta like let Handler say her piece. <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink some buffs and such, because like I know we're just here on an expedition. And it would be very funny if they sent me out here uh on just a routine trip to look for stuff and he didn't really find much and then uh <laughs> then you just go back to base, but I have a feeling. Yeah. Let's go see if I can find anything neat and big and scary and mean. I mean there's Totagama tracks, is that what we're looking for, Handler? They feel different. Yes. Almost scary. Little ripples can sometimes come together to form a giant wave. That's what all this Now that I've said it, I actually would love a like actually super threatening variant Dodogama is like twice as big. <laughs> I feel like they might have done like an event quest like that. That feels like the, a really big one and a really small one or something. <laughs> they love doing that. I've definitely gone on like an optional arena fight that had all right here's two toby kadachi one is at the tiniest size possible it's like the size of just one of these little small mountable creatures going around and then one of these is giant yeah it's very silly ah oh, there was you know you know the like the pigs in ancient forests that are just walking around yeah yeah there was an event quest where it was like two of them in an arena but they were like huge like big like <laughs> they were like the size of half the arena they were massive and they would one shot you if they hit you like <laughs> i love the sense of humor it was so silly that's great no. mm, check it out nergigante thorns I kind of forgot this dude existed. Who's the dude? What do you have in your He's like this time, old huh? muscly guy with sort of anime hair. Right, right, right. He's the mutton chops. Isn't he the leader of Estera's section or something? Or like the old original leader, like yeah. Hello. Oh, 
this is a familiar experience. Okay. Yep. 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 Been wondering where you were. There's something odd about this one. Look at old B-52 is here. They have arrived. <laughs> the ultimate troll. Have fun. I'll leave this one to you. We'll rendezvous later. This is a little more spicy looking than regular. Is he is he very glowy? Does he have like some purple to him? Not purple, it's very brightly orange. Uh, brightly orange. Okay. Here, I'll go ahead and SOS okay. now. I'm sure I can. No, I can't really. Is it gonna? Is it gonna do that thing? I wonder. I wonder. Would it let me just bail, or is it gonna make me actually do the hunt again by myself? Because Dodo Gama's fighting it, and I feel like Dodo Gama's got it. Yeah, Dodo Gama's got it. For sure. Get, get him, little guy. And bite him. Oh, dang. Yeah, I don't think Dota Gama's got it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. He gave it a good effort. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can... If I... Uh, return from Expedition. Quickly. Because, yes, I could sit and hunt this thing, but that would take an hour or more and be <laughs> very boring for most people involved, including everyone watching. So. Okay. Now I can actually accept a mission, which sounds like something that you could actually come on, and that sounds more fun. Ooh, we like that. We like that. I love fun. You like, um, I, I put a charm on my weapon. Ooh. So, yeah, this is a thing that I think they added literally after the original episodes of Iceborne that I made years ago, uh, where you can put basically a little keychain on your weapon. They're very small. Um, ooh, it's a little, like, glowy heart. It's Fatalis' heart. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, you earned it, too. Right? I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Fatalis is, like, the last hardest fight, basically. I don't know how much we've talked about it in previous episodes, but you did it, and it sounded very, very hard, and I'm very impressed. It's one of those, like, I, I put the that accomplishment on my, my gaming <laughs> wall of fame, you know? Yeah, yeah. It sounded like a real triumph. It, it, it really was. It's a great fight, too. Like, it's it's a really fun... Well-designed monster. Fun, fun attacks. Super high spectacle. I feel like it's one of those fights that I'll never... I'm never gonna even get to the point of accessing that one, which I'm fine with. But, uh... Just to further stress how... high up in difficulty that that fight is, that... <laughs> The thing you've achieved. Okay, and now we can actually do a mission fighting the thing. That sounds way more fun. Here we yeah. go. Now it's like a quest and everything. That friends can join on, and I won't just leave and bail you this time. Hmm. <laughs> hey, double check, then I got... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I just love this little arts and crafts project that Gwibbers is always working on. Samson is just big chilling. He's just sitting. He's just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. All righty. Now we're ready to go. <laughs> All right. Achieving a listers are going to put me out of a job. Buffing up.
Let's go fight an extra spicy. What if we, what if we just like, what if I just drop that on Dodogama's head? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, we gotta run! <laughs> What a prank. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Pranked you. It's like driving by, knocking over mailboxes in a neighborhood yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think I have a do mining thing. Oh, yeah? Another thing you need? Yeah, one of those field resource things that I, I've Ooh, had yeah. for like a year, probably on <laughs> yep. this character, at least. Yep, yep, yep. Basil Juice. Where, where, where are you? Or however you say your name. I haven't seen any... trails. Yeah, I've been kind of looking too, but the fact that I'm still not seeing anything makes me think that we're maybe looking the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's, he's up on the peak? That could be. I guess it could be in the hot area. Who knows? He could be even be in your own living room. <laughs> like an old horror movie trailer. Yeah. On nights just like this one. <laughs> the one time you're wanting to find this guy. I know, right? And he's just suddenly like, oh no, I can't come crashing their party. I might not be invited. There's a footprint. But I don't have research nearly high enough to actually track him. Oh, I found a Bracky Dio's footprint. That's something. Thought a gamma footprint. Yep, yep. Okay, I got it. Hooray, I'll follow you. What other games would you put in, like, sort of your top five or ten? Hmm. You know, I, I obviously, like, we talk about it so much. Elden Ring's definitely worked its way there. It's just, oh, yeah. It's just so... It's, it's too much of everything I want. Yep. That's a good way to describe it. Um. Why did you stop? Um. I don't know. I feel like, uh... I feel like for, like, a proper top five or ten, like, sentiment really starts playing, like, a much bigger, uh, role there. Like, that's a... That's a place where I would put games that I feel like, okay, I don't know if this is necessarily, like, the most important game or, like, the top five, like, best games, but it, like, this is where games I love, favorites, that yeah. mean a lot to me. Yeah, like, Ocarina of Time is probably up there just because I've played it a bajillion times. Yeah, yeah. That feels right. Would I say it's, you know, top five games of all time? Probably not. It's it's up there. It's a very good game. It's great. Maybe, like, Katamari. Ooh, Katamari's a good one. I wouldn't have even, like, thought about that one, but I actually, now that I do... I'm just trying to think of, like, I'm like, what's a game that, if it was in front of me, I would always play it, and I'm like, it's... That's that's definitely one. That's good criteria. Yeah, Katamari is definitely great for that. I feel like Psychonauts is very special to me. Like, I'd definitely put yeah. Psychonauts 1. I think 2 is, like, a better game in most every way, but, like, I would put... I'd just say Psychonauts in general, both of them. Rock band up there for me as well. I was I was just thinking like a like a guitar hero or something. I don't know which one I would do. It, it'd probably be like a guitar hero for me. Yeah. God, I miss that era a lot. <laughs> me too. Ooh, now Man. I'm seeing some glowy purple. Wow, look at you. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. There's, there's what I'm remembering. 
Just had to get him a little mad. There, okay, so there's definitely gonna be an attack that you'll know when we see it. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, very fun. Can't wait. Ooh, that was big damage on the tail. I love when a, like a non-weakened hit gives me like over 500. Yeah. It's like, oh man, I can only imagine if it was weak and sleeping <laughs> would have been a big hit. Think of the numbers. Everything, everything's getting scary again because I ran out of my take no damage mantle. <laughs> Gotta start playing Monster Hunter again. Yeah. Oh, this is a fun tiny little arena to fight you on. Oh, he's great. He's just kind of holding still, letting me just poke, poke, poke forever. It's honestly, this tiny arena is actually kind of working well. It really is for the moment. And there he goes. Okay, fine. Can I mount up here? I can. I guess I'm not tracking the guy, so. That may not count. Well, maybe I am. Here, I'll call him and we'll find out. Take me where you think I should be going. Little friend. Whee! He's on the trail. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Oh, there's a spicy boy also on this map that might show up. Really? Ooh. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. And concerning a little. Yeah, very concerning if he does show up. <laughs> I, I will be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're concerned, I'm concerned. Uh oh. It's hey, okay. come, come over here. Come to this cool frog. I found this cool frog, Basil Goose. Check it out. Come look at this cool frog. I'm on fire. Oh, he's, he's not going to see the frog now. There's a there's a stooge for him to hit. Oh, a stooge. Oh, 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 he's close to the frog. <gasps> frog, 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 frog. Yeah, frog. Yeah, frog, get him. <laughs> it was not that big, but it gave him a little stagger. We like that. Staggers are great. Like what? It's a tiny frog. Maybe we set our expectations too high. You know what? You're right. <laughs> you did just great, frog. Yeah. Boy, these things look cool. I'm having a much easier time fighting this thing than Volcana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just being bigger, slower, and attacking like with its actual body more. Gives me a little more options. Okay, okay. bad times are Ooh. happening. Bad times are happening. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good knockdown. I'm glad for it, because yeah, that I didn't really know how to react to the purple goo. Hey, okay. there goes tail the tail. Off. Oh, I love it. Like the inside of its tail's glowing too. That's rad. Gracious. So yeah, the purple Whoa. take a little longer to explode, but have a way bigger radius. Scary, but awesome. And I think because we broke his tail, he can't 
send purple out from his tail now. Yay! I think is how it works. Oh no, he showed up, Dad. We're in trouble. <laughs> oh, you're right. Savage Devil Joe. That, you know, that's how I would have described the original. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah, this one's just more mad. Just more mad, which seemed impossible. Okay, gracious. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, okay. I would do the same thing. I'm going to do the Is same thing. Okay, can I just get those two shinies in the tail, sir? Yeah, the tail carve would be great. He's... he saw me. He saw me, yeah. dude. He is looking cranky, and yeah... oh boy. That seems bad. Ow. I don't think I'm God. getting that tail. <laughs> Maybe... okay. Oh yeah, you go for quivers. <laughs> go for quivers, quivers, distract it. Tell it some jokes. Hey, big guy, look this way. Oh, I got the tail. Let's nice. Go. Run, quivers. Okay. Flee. I thought this was going to be a quick pickup thing. It was not. That was a mistake. Hmm. I don't think this is the right way. This way instead. Do keep running though. Come on, quivers. So that was Savage Devil Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Regular Devil Joe is scary enough. Oh man, if only we had an extra crystal to drop on his head. <laughs> <laughs> How could this have happened? It was worth it. Absolutely worth it. Oh, the glowing is so cool. Yeah! Well, still got it. Still got it. Beautiful. Oh, is it purple time? Nice. Whoop. Yeah, every single one of these Alolan variants has ruled. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's really what it is, isn't it? It is, right? Which raises the more important question. Which Pokemon would we want to fight in Monster Hunter? <laughs> oh. It's got to be a legendary, I assume. Yeah, it's got to be like... Like... Was it like Hiram or something like that? The, the big ice dragon guy? Yeah. Or something like that? What if that, uh, the one from Sword and Shield, the Eternatus? <laughs> That'd be a fight. Yeah, that would be a fight. I would really hope that they would give us a clutch claw Pokeball in that case to finish the fight with. Oh, that's, yeah. that's how you do get the capture. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're explaining like a dream mod right now. <laughs> okay, so he hasn't done the thing that I've been scared of this whole time, and I don't know if I'm just misremembering it or what. I feel like it could still happen, especially with all this purple could going on. It could still happen. Oof. Yeah, there's a lot of purple. You did, I mean, it's, I know it's a different game, but you did definitely describe an attack, or like you mentioned an attack which can occur in Elden Ring with a specific boss that sounds a rad that I definitely did not see. So, uh... <laughs> I guess that's neither here nor there, but when we get to playing co-op Elden Ring, I... We need to make that fight last long enough that I can see that move, because yeah. it sounded amazing. That 100% we're making sure happens. Yes. Ow. Oh, the purple is so cool. Ow. He heard you. Yeah. <laughs> it was a compliment. Whoa. Look at oh, the purple happening. everywhere. Is this it's it? Happening, ah! dude. That's so much. It's Wait. purple everywhere. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna lie here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> I didn't. I wasn't ready for it to general Radon me. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, great. Yeah, it really, it really just <laughs> carpet bombs and nukes the area. <sighs> okay, I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it's it is this monster. Maybe I am thinking of Elden Ring. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely not expecting it. <laughs> like just when you, you saw you couldn't get more mad. Yeah, yeah. It was like the exact right amount of time for me to kind of like have the thought. It's like, all right, well, I see. All, I just dodged all the purple stuff. Where'd he go anyway? Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and keep poking. Never mind. He really just did like a butt stomp. Yeah. Yeah, get him. Can't throw me off. Get stabbed with my tiny knife. This is working. There we go. How am I still on your back? Oh, I can just do it again, I guess. That's weird. I never had to, like, stop before. <laughs> And then allow it didn't me to give continue. me time to to weaken up his face, so it's it's tender right now. That's great. Yeah, maybe that's why it did. Maybe that's why I paused briefly. Glad it didn't throw me off. Ow. Oh no, I, I I was like, okay, he's coming down, and then he did it, and I was like, oh okay, I'm I'm just gonna get on him too then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Some I feel like sometimes it just happens where it's like, maybe they have like a invisible meter of like. This will knock down versus this will just give you a nice. A That's awesome. They really make you feel good when you get a big hit in this game. Yeah. Kind of makes me want to get another a decent charge blade upgraded for use in some of these uh, last episodes. Not that I'll be all that effective with it, but boy, when one of those big super amps hits oh, land, yeah. boy, it looks and feels good. Oh, that's purple. Don't think I can block that. Wow. It's a good shield. <laughs> you just tried to do that to me again. You did. Well, I had my shield. <laughs> I had a shield, you fool. My shield solves everything. You... I can only counter you if you hit me, buddy. Ow. Ow. He hit me. Yeah, he hit me that time, too. That's on me. I should have been ready. But yeah, I think this is the first time the whole fight I've had to drink a mega potion. <laughs> It's just much easier to fight for me. <laughs> you're, you're doing very good then. I but I'm four. not doing the kind of damage oh, you're no. doing. Oh, look who's here. Guys, we already did this. <laughs> you can't keep running into each other like this. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dung pod. Yeah, no thank you. Please leave. There, you smell bad now. Doesn't make you want to go home and change, take a bath. He's like, I don't care. He doesn't <laughs> matter. He's more angry and smells bad, so... Okay, no, he's, he's leaving. He's Great. running away, he's running away. Good. And this idiot's going back up to his nest. Of course. I feel like if there is one monster in the entire game that would ignore dung pods and not care, it would be Devil Joe. It'd just be like, laughs in your face yeah. and then eats you. 
Yeah, go take a nap. <laughs> he laid what happened an over egg there? right before he fell asleep. What? And it exploded? <laughs> yeah, like it, he put one of his his like scales down and it exploded as I walked up to it. Amazing. Here's a few more little wake up gifts. Definitely too close. But if I angle it right, if you angle it just right, maybe. Ah, uh, I did not well, angle it right. This will still hit. That works. <laughs> so fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah. It's like no one explodes me but me. <laughs> I guess if any one of the monsters in the game would be a demolitions expert. Yeah. It's like you're doing it all wrong. Let me show oh, you. There we go. Clean. That went real nice. Now let's head back and don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. Who does this guy <laughs> think he is? We're out here fighting a giant monster with bombs. Yeah. And he's like, don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sorry I'm late to our appointment. I had something come up and explode. Yeah. Last I checked, I was doing it for you, too. It's like, mm-hmm. You could have helped if timeliness was an issue. Don't put this on me. Does Basil Goose have an armor set? I don't remember what it looks like at all. They do. I want to go look and see what that looks like, because I bet it looks cool. All the master rank gear looks so cool. I know the map. That was like one of my favorite things of just seeing like, here's master rank. Here's all the armor sets that you've gotten used to, but cooler versions of them. And I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> there's so many. Oh, this is this is fun. Monster Hunter fun. Samson was eating a sausage. <laughs> well, yeah, I love it when we get the little sausage end scene. It's always the best one. <laughs> Have a little snack, kitty. Got seen, I assume? Everyone yes. here? Perfect. I've got some great news. We found some Nergigante traces. Great. That's great news? You heard me. Wherever that puppy shows up, it means it's on the hunt for something big. Now we just need to figure out what that something big is. Not only that, but thanks to the Fifth Fleet, we've also found traces of other Elder Dragons in each region. And quite a healthy assortment of Elder Dragons at that. Things are really starting to heat up, huh? How's the investigation into the seismic actions going? Swimmingly. We've been able to pinpoint locations here in the Hinterlands, as well as in the New World. We've also been splitting up to search for spots where the song is audible. We should be able to report our findings soon. Great. Keep it up and we'll be able to track down the old Everworm in no time. Speaking of which, I have a request of the Fifth. If I'm not mistaken, we may be able to learn something about the old Everworm from the recently awoken Elder Dragons. At this stage, information is key. I'd like to request a formal investigation into these Elder Dragons. Chief, what do you think? <sighs> Elder Dragons have always been closely tied to all kinds of natural phenomena. We'd be fools not to investigate them. Great! We'll get started right away. Wait! What about me? Just, uh, do what you always do. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on it! Okay, let's get to it. I love that the little grandma chef cat is always in the big meetings about the monster dealings as if <laughs> as if she's going to do anything different than she usually does, which is yeah. the most important job, <laughs> making too much food. 
Investigate the Awoken Elder Dragons. They've awoken and they're beginning to stir. Investigate them by taking on Master Rank optional quests and expeditions. When investigating Elder Dragons, a progress gauge will be displayed under your objectives and on the results screen. You can fill that gauge by slaying Elder Dragons in optional quests and expeditions. The progress gauge can also be filled by gathering the question mark traces that can be found in each locale. The following Elder Dragons do not count toward progress. Zora Magdaros, Zenojiva, Kulvataroth, and Behemoth. That makes some sense. Okay, well, I guess that's a going on with the Elder thing for me to start doing. Let's, head out on an expedition Let's just find an optional quest that looks the out. most fun, then. Let me look at what the list is, and I'll... prepare to send us off to hunt something that seems the most fun. Yeah. Because there are some monsters that only show up in the optional quest, just not in the main assigned ones. So let's see. Hey, you! The... <laughs> the quest giver just gave sort of like this, Hey, you! In this perfect sort of like, I don't remember your name. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's, it's like, hey, you! Oh... <laughs> oh man, remember been, when been too long. <laughs> and then when that happened, yeah, that was funny. Right? <laughs> uh let's see. What else counts as elder dragons? Huh. Yeah, what actually does all count as elder dragons? Hold up. My hunter's notes might tell me. Maybe. Eh. Large monsters. I don't know if it specifies. Hmm. Hang on, this I can Google. So okay, I, I've I've looked up the, what the list of elder dragons is, which is definitely more of like the like proper boss monster, bigger, scarier, Nergigante, uh, uh, Kirin, Kushaladara. A lot of the bigger ones that we've been kind of like fighting along the way. Uh, there's not any optional quests in the master rank that I have access to currently other than just fighting Velkana again, but we've done a lot of that lately. So I can look for some investigations. Or we can just go out on expeditions to wherever one of them happens to be. Yeah, let's go out to an expedition to... Perfect. Uh... Yeah, and it sounds like... I looked it up a little bit. It sounds like... Uh... You can fill this bar just by finding tracks and things out in the world, but if you do manage to just actually fight and defeat an Elder Dragon, uh, then that'll fill up the bar a lot of the way, so... We could, yeah, we could just fight. We could just fight something then. That, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Because I'm curious if, if I go out on an expedition with you, it might mess up. And be like, oh, this isn't a story expedition. I wonder. So yeah, uh, let's, let's see. If, uh... What... Monsters are out and about. There's a Valkana in Horfrost Reach. Sure. Uh, none of those are Elder Dragons. None of those are Elder Dragons. None of those. There's a Kushala out in Ancient Forest. Haven't fought that in a very long time. Sure. I'll go out there. And then if I get here... Does it give you the option to just join me? Are you, are, did you do an, an investigation or something? I just left on an expedition, just uh, on its own. Okay, so yeah, you'll, I think you'll need to fire an SOS. Okay. Hang on, hang on everybody, sorry. We'll, we're figuring it out. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and back here, as you can see. Sorry, we, we figured out a much better way to do this, rather than me just running out on a random expedition and then SOSing and opening it up to Dan and also two other randos who just happened to decide to join us. Dan is going to set up an investigation mission uh, that he has access to for a Elder Dragon, and I will join it. <laughs> I know you've been working hard Ever -ber 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 join a quest, that's right. It's been a while. Yeah. There we go. We'll go fight a Kirin. Go fight a Kirin. Did I eat? I think I ate. Yeah, I ate. I can't remember if Kirin was involved like in the main quest of... Uh, base game world i think they were like uh you finished the game hey by the way here's a karen maybe yeah yeah so we might not have fought one on camera yet so that's fun all right
First, let me eat 300 ounces of steak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you do. As you do. <laughs> Item loadout should still be good. And, uh... Once you're ready, I think you just hit, like... Select or back, whatever it is. Yeah, stand by for departure. There we, there we go. There okay. we go. <laughs> I've not been on this side, and so ah, no wait, hang on. I know it's. There we go. Yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> been a while. It's been a while. I, I definitely was like, oh, how do I do this? <laughs> but yeah, I'm having such a grand time being back in this, like, uh, just doing Monster Hunter with you. It's been way too long. Same. It's it's just it's fun it's fun playing Monster Hunter again and fun playing with buds like yeah just a nice comfy game to come back to absolutely okay so if I recall they're at like the top of the mountain right that's usually where they hang out in my experience okay yeah I got it locked got him locked awesome yeah I was gonna go to the camp up there that would have been faster yeah I don't. Actually, no. Where it's taking me? <laughs> actually, it looks like it's down. Oh yeah, it's down. Oh. Hey, horse. Surprising. I no, feel like I, I said, always hey. see it. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he's running away, Dan. Oh, I just remember. It's like, oh right, I'm supposed to be at the top of the mountain. Oh dang, I'm late. Oh shoot. They called places and I didn't go. I was still at craft services. That's actually good because I forgot to drink my my juice. Okay, there it is. This Kieran, everyone. It's an elder dragon that is really just a unicorn, but a very spicy unicorn. Can't you tell? It looks just like an elder dragon. It is actually quite challenging, though. Yeah. You already see a lot of lightning. A lot of lightning. And it being a smaller target also just makes it tricky. Small, fast, angy. Okay. Oh. I do like its danger puddles. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. That was 1200, just a casual. Jeez. Just a casual little saying hello, you know? Oh, do you have, you have poison, don't you? I do. I don't know if it's... It, yeah, it's it's poison already. Oh, awesome! I, I saw I saw the goop dripping. Fantastic! Love to see it. Oh, my nice. There we go. Oh, oh boy! Fourteen hundred. <laughs> Gracious! <laughs> Oh my god, I feel bad for him. Yeah, you're making a fool out of this thing. Yeah, it's mad now. Not a good place to be. Okay. Gracious, all right. <laughs> oh, spicy. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's bad. That's a bad spot. Thanks, Grivers, for the heals. I think I was, like, moving too fast for that to heal me. That's funny. Never seen that before. That's better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, once it gets cranky, this one's a lot. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the prancing where the little thunderbolts will surround it. Yep. Always is, is so difficult to deal with. Ow. And they just have a big hitbox. Oh, that's not good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. How did it not take that opportunity? Whew. It was just standing in my face like, ah, oh, if only I could hit this guy with my lightning. <laughs> it was just feeling nice. It was. Thank you. Do something I can counter, nerd. Nice. Good 
weapons. Like, your head's like your only weak point, and you're so small in general. The precision required. Yee. Oof, oof, that sucked. I was mid combo when that went off. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's it. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, it's on top of me when I was done. <laughs> Ouch. Now, comments correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think Kieran has been in Monster Hunter literally since the first game. Oh, really? If not the very first, it's been around a long time. That's pretty cool. Which you wouldn't expect it. It's like a weird enough, like it's a unique enough thing that you'd think it kind of like probably didn't show up to like a few iterations later. Yeah. Hello. Ow. <laughs> Kieran, I was surprised attacking you. You kicked me. Surprise attack coming from above. <laughs> I can. Okay. It is perfectly dodging. <laughs> Who is this oh. guy? That's not great. I'm okay. Ow. I'm okay still, somehow. Goodness. Can you stop? Chill with the lightning. Ow. Uh. <laughs> it's so angry. Pretty, though. Very pretty. Oh, I fell. And he still sniped me. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. It's still very mad at you. Hey, maybe pay attention to me. I'm the. How am I bouncing off of your skin? You barely have scales. Are you just too angry to accept damage right now? Oh, no. You dove. He's he's mad at me, Dan. He's really mad at you. Really glad I can block that lightning. Or else this would be a problem. Stop the tantrum. It's death. Oh, Man. yeah. Oh, he, he got me like twice in a row, and I was like, I don't think I'm getting out of that. Yeah, no, this thing just throws so much damage around so constantly. It's really hard to avoid it. Yeah. It's like I don't dare go for more than like one or two pokes at a time. Is it leaving? I think it's leaving. Thank goodness. Trying to find where you are. Because <laughs> it hates you so much. <laughs> Where's that guy? <laughs> he was bragging he got a big hit on me. <laughs> I do love how its main basically goes Super Saiyan. When it's in angry mode, though. Yeah. It was, it's definitely one of those fights that, like, I got really used to it. Um, I, I don't remember if it was just, like, it had good materials or, or something like that, but there was definitely a stretch of time I felt like I was just nonstop fighting this dang horse. I love that feeling of mastery with these things, though. If you just, if you have to farm a, one of these for a while... You just get so familiar with the moveset and the rhythm of it. The feeling of accomplishment is really awesome. And yeah, again, with the greatsword, I imagine you have to reach a level of that to be able to, like, function fighting most of these things. Nice. He did not care about the flinch shot. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I really didn't. I'll see if I can tenderize, but I don't think it's going to give a lot of time. I got I got his body tenderized right now. Uh 
Okay, whatever. Oof, that's big. Oof. I don't know how my shield blocks lightning, but boy, I'm grateful. Happy it does. Goodness. Mm hmm. All right, enough. Hey, Karen, can I have a turn? He's enjoying just not giving me any time. Yeah, it's like no opening. I don't even have time for an opening, and mine's just little quick pokes. Horsey, please. I'm sparking. I should probably stop sparking. Did the rolls make you stop? Yeah, okay. That's a good idea, Gwibbers. Thanks. Goodness. Horse. Stop being mad for just a second, please. This is the dragon married to Valkana in Monster Hunter Universe. <laughs> Like six years on this channel with like not a single Shrek reference, and now I've had like opportunity for like two in the space of weeks. What happened? It's because of Shrek 5, you know, you're getting ready. <laughs> okay, that did not hit me again. I disagree. Are you ready to chill for just a second? Kieran, no, no, no chilling. Kieran is acting how, like, how it feels to have someone to tell you to calm down when you're upset. <laughs> yeah. It really doesn't work. <laughs> really just a bad idea. It's hard to actually think of something that could possibly make you more tilted when you're mad about something <laughs> than to have someone to tell you to calm down. Yeah. Phew. It's a spicy fight. Yeah, I was... um. I guess it's just because I kind of forgot we were in master rank zone as soon as you suggested Kieran. I was like, oh, I fought Kieran plenty. That was a while ago. This will be nostalgic and relatively easy. And I have no idea why I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little breeze through the park. Yeah. Hello, horsey. Hi, horsey. No good. More cramped quarters. Huzzah. Oh boy. Hear me out. What if you didn't? Ow. Nice. Yeah. Can't unfortunately punish it where I am, but. Even with it down like that, I feel like... <laughs> with it down and me, like, unloading on it with uh, all the pokes I can muster on a weak point, I still don't think the cumulative amount of damage I managed to accrue is anywhere near the four-digit stuff that you'll land with those big hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ow. But 
there's a part of my brain that, <laughs> upon getting kicked by Kieran, sort of has like the real life thought pattern. I was like, well, you were standing behind a horse. What'd you expect to happen? Yeah. Yeah, that's on you. Yeah. Like you've. You should have expected this. Weirdly, this is the most calm seeming Kieran has seemed half the fight. Someone riding his head. Yeah. Big, Big hit. hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was the number? Man, it feels good. That was just a thousand. That was just, you know, nothing. Just. <laughs> Again, I maybe got cumulatively like seven or eight hundred at best. Nope. Please don't. I was shot his butt with a dragon pod and that seemed to calm him down. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the tranquilizer effect of dragon pods. Cause yeah, doesn't that like take them out of fury mode? I guess so. I, I don't think I ever knew that, but it sure worked like a charm. And thank goodness. I missed. We're wearing it down. It's definitely down to like 30% or something. Yeah. I should look up how that rule works again. Like, there's like a percentage. It's like 30, 20, and 10% or something where like it starts dropping the little red ammo drops at that exactly those points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the rule though. Look at him strutting. Oh, you. I'm just showing off, acting like we're not even here. Yeah. Hunters? What hunters? <laughs> what a little show pony. Oh, goodness. Woohoo! Thank you, Shield. Ow. Ow. It did not appreciate the pony comment. I did not. Was not a fan of it. Whoever's you are, right? <laughs> that did not hit me. I don't know how that didn't hit me, though. Look how Quivers. Oh, poor Quivers. Was getting a healing thing ready for me. It's like, I'll help. And then just got struck by all the lightning. <laughs> poor cat. It's going to. Enjoy your healing mist over here for a second. Yeah, go for it. Dragon pod. Fire. Dragon pod. Calm down. Did it work? Ow. Hey, nice. Knocking it down helped. Yeah, yeah, that. It's all the tranquilizer you Calm need. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon pod. Ow. Oh boy. That's not good. Whoever save me. I need to go. Boy, I really love this. This uh cat tool. Which one the little heal heal station? Uh and like the or like the little uh re-rays, basically. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's working really well for recording. <laughs> Even though it means it's like one less offense option I have. I think I used that for a long time until I found the shield. Oof, boy. Yep. I think that broke its horn. Nice. Oh, he's limping. Yeah, you did break the horn. Fantastic. I'm just gonna share. It's <laughs> gonna let That's him go. That's a good idea. Yeah. I don't remember if elder dragons go for naps. I know you can't.
capture them. They, I, I think, think they, they do go for naps. I think they do nap. Yeah. Wee. You have a favorite color. It's a random question. I just thought of it though. So, growing up, it was orange. Like I, I loved the orange. Big fan. Uh, and then. Maybe maybe around like high school time, I realized orange just goes with nothing. Like, <laughs> like there's not a lot of orange clothes. Anything that is orange is very loud. Um, and then I kind of just like gravitated more towards teal. I think is is Ooh. probably where my favorite is now. Over the years, teal's a great pick. I love that it was orange at one point though, because I feel like I, yeah, that's a choice that I feel like I rarely hear. Yeah, definitely. I was all about it. And then, like, even just thinking of, like, would I ever want an orange car? <laughs> and, like, I even had a friend who had an orange car. And it was cool, but I'm like, I don't think I could. I would never want this. <laughs> which which begs the question, why did I like orange in the first place? I don't know. Yeah, I'd be, I'm curious, like, how, like, first favorite colors happen for other people. I know for me, like, I as a kid decided green at one point just because I was like drawing with like markers and just really liked the color a particular marker gave mm -hmm. on the paper. I was like, I like green now. I've decided. This is part of my personality. And the wrong buttons, gracious. Ready for the big kabooms. The ball is on the tee. Oh, I'm sorry. You you set up the healing station, Gwivers, right in the path <laughs> of my sword. It's okay, Gwivers. Next time. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. It's a, little, it's a little off. This is probably too close. That's okay. Precise though. spacing to get it to where, like, only that third hit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This might be good. This might be it. Nice. Okay, that was a 14. That works. Thank you for blowing <laughs> yourself up. Thank you. Yep, Angie now. Oh, Angie and knocked down though. Nice. I got a full charge on him off. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. and another. Nice. We made that look good toward the end there. <laughs> we did. Oh, that was clean. That was a nice, clean wrap up there. Yeah. That's when you see someone who's like great at Monster Hunter, like end game fighting a monster, like it's it's it almost makes you feel bad. Like the monster is getting no <laughs> offense. They're yeah. just like getting stunned, like interrupted, knocked over, stunned, interrupted, knocked over. They're just like toying with them with monsters that would just flatten me so quickly. Uh <laughs> It's really satisfying to see. Yeah, we just got like, a, I felt like a tiny, tiny taste of what that life is like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was like, a, uh, I want to say it was like four heavy bowgun like users and just like all shooting in this one like, it was like a pookie pookie <laughs> or something. And it was just like, stop, you're hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so unused to seeing these th seeing these things on the other end of the bullying. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Boy. I'm sure that's not going to have filled up the meter all the way, but I'm curious to see. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that filled it up like 25%. I have a project to do, I think, um, <laughs> before our next recording. I need to fill up that meter. Ooh. Got a meter to fill up, Dan. Got a meter to fill. That'll be fun for me, but uh, way less fun to watch, I think. So, uh, yeah. Don't worry, everyone. Before next episode, I will have this meter full and we can go do some more fun Elder Dragon research. Yeah. Well, oh, it's gonna be fun. It's I, I think next episode is gonna be one of my favorite new monsters. Ooh. So I'm excited. Yeah, I feel like anything anything new we see from this point because we're I feel like kind of in the 
home stretch is going to be just all hits. It's going to be all very cool. I can't wait. We'll see you next time, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.